They weren't kidding when they said spring loaded. All right, what's up guys? Sam here. Listen, I never do a recap and I said I wasn't going to, but there's just so much stuff. I don't know how else to tell you about all of it because there's just so much. I'm not wasting any time. If you guys are excited for this, drop a like down below. Hit subscribe for more. Uh, let's start off with the iPhone 12. We got a new iPhone 12 today. It comes in purple. It matches my light. This was super out of the blue. I don't fully understand it, but Tim Cook was just like, oh, yes, I'm gonna flex and show you that we have a purple iPhone. Okay. Okay, by the way, I'm going in order of this event from least important announcements to most important announcements, not just in the order that Apple did them um, to, to build it up for you guys. So yeah, purple iPhone 12 available April 30th. Um, it's purple iPhone. Not much else to say. Honestly, I don't even like the color that much, but it was a surprise. I, I haven't been completely surprised in a long time. Next up, we got new Magic Mac accessories. Uh, I will lead into why Apple has done this momentarily, but again, I'm going in order of like least important to most important. This includes a new numeric keyboard with Touch ID, new color options. Well, seven-ish new color options for the trackpad and the mouse, what? But they're still not backlit. What? I'm a, I can't, I can't, dude. Come on, they're not, how are they not backlit? How are, how are the new Magic Keyboard not, how is the iPad Magic Keyboard backlit, but the Mac stuff isn't? <sighs> okay. I mean, listen, they look incredible, and I love the new colors, and there's some new key changes on here. Um, they look great, like, don't get me wrong. It's just at the same time, I was kind of like, could we just... <laughs> Could we just get backlighting? Like, is it too much to ask? But I'll be honest, uh, I think Apple actually spent more time talking about the new Magic keyboard and trackpad and mouse accessories for the new iMacs than they actually spent talking about AirTags. Guys, this is the product that was rumored for two years, delayed time and time and time again. And I think Apple spent four and a half minutes talking about it on stage. They had this great ad where it was somebody crawling through their couch trying to find stuff, and there are some cool features. With AirTags, again, you can read about all this on appletrack.com, but I'll be honest, um, I was expecting a bit more. I mean, these really are a pretty insignificant product. They're tiny. They are $29, though. The price is amazing. You can get uh, four for 99 bucks or one for $29. Way cheaper than we expected, way cheaper than we heard. These are actually like the same price as a tile, which is super rare, and they have the ultra wide band connectivity so you can more accurately find things than with a tile. I was pretty impressed, I'll be honest. I, I didn't think this was uh, gonna be this cheap, and it ships on April 30th as well. So, AirTags, you can order this Friday. I just find it weird that this was in development for so long, and like Apple just glazed over it. Like, it literally felt like they rushed through AirTags. And I'm like, these were really the, probably the most overhyped Apple product of all time. That being said, we got a really big surprise with the new Apple TV 4K. Now, they didn't change the name at all, which is going to lead a lot of people to be confused. But there's a bunch of big changes here. 4K high frame rate HDR. There's color balance. So you use your iPhone, balance the color temperature. Obviously, Twitter's going crazy right now. You use the, the color temperature of your iPhone's camera to balance your TV for even better looking picture quality. And thank God, well, there's Wi-Fi 6 here as well. There's a new Apple TV remote. There's a new Siri remote. It looks usable. It looks fantastic. The Siri button is on the side rather than front and center. Thank you, Apple. Thank you for a better remote. And the A12 Bionic is inside, which is phenomenal. Okay. So the new Apple TV is actually a pretty big deal. Um, and I know that you know, my friend Sigmund is gonna be really excited for this, but yeah, I mean, Apple TV, it's here, minor changes, kind of crazy that it's only an A12 and we're on the A14, but hey, it hasn't been updated in years. We will take this one. Getting into the top two now, all right? It wasn't a tough call for me. iPad Pro update, crazy stuff here. M1 chip inside, Thunderbolt, Two terabytes of storage, 16 gigs of memory, and an iPad. They've literally, if, if you've noticed, they've been pivoting the iPad as a computer replacement, and now it actually is because of the M1 chip. Like, you guys don't realize this is the first time an iOS device has ever had a Mac chip in it. Uh, ever. Like, like Apple's only done A-series since iOS devices, iPhone OS was the thing, iPad OS. And now it's iPad OS running off of M1, which is just nuts. There's some new cool camera stuff, like the front camera is ultra wide and it can follow you around the room, which is kind of nutty. Like I wish I could show you a better demo, but I don't want to get copyright striked. So uh, I'll try to do a better job of very, very cool. There's 5G, 
not notable really because you know 5g is still not really real in the us and of course headlining the new ipad pro is the white magic keyboard that came out no it's the it's a 12.9 inch pro xdr display the liquid retina display xdr is they're calling it it looks crazy apparently the colors are like out of this world nutty I can't wait to see it, but this ships in, I believe, the second half of May, which is crazy. Yet nothing even came close to what happened when I saw the new iMac. This has been uh, the product that I use to edit all of my videos all the time. This is uh, how I got introduced to Apple back in the day on the colorful iMacs. Uh, it, I really would not be here talking to you. I would not have 300,000 subscribers if it wasn't for the original iMac being in my school. And today Apple followed up with just exactly everything that I have ever wanted, ever. And um, I mean, I where, where should we start for the iMac? All right, four and a half K display, 24 inches now, complete new design. This looks like it is straight out of the future and it is a complete shift in the direction for the Mac. It's not traditional, it's not old school, it's not reserved. This is fresh, it is bold. There are new, new color options of seven and they are wonderful. They're not the same as the iPad Pro. They're more vibrant, they fit the Mac DNA better and there is not a single part of this that I don't like. This is the, the machine that I've been waiting for. So there's like MagSafe connectivity on the back. They didn't call it that, missed opportunity. It's magnetic that goes into the Mac and they, they didn't call it MagSafe. I don't understand why they didn't do that. But for the first time ever on the Mac, they really seemingly went all out on the camera, microphone, and speakers. You know how they've always, speakers have always been pretty good, but camera, microphone, awful. Like everybody knows MacBook camera, MacBook mic. It's not even worth doing the Zoom call. You're basically gonna fail college if you're talking on that. Apple put a new 1080p FaceTime camera, best ever in a Mac, best ever new mics in the Mac, and best ever speakers in the Mac. I still can't believe it's only 1080p, in 2021, but they say it's better, so I will put it to the test and actually figure it out. Six speaker array, spatial audio for watching content that supports it with Dolby Atmos, which is something we've only had on headphones. They're able to somehow recreate that on the Mac now. The weird part of this Mac is the M1. It's the exact same M1 chip as currently available in other Macs, but it also makes sense because this is replacing the base level iMac. Apple is still fully selling and stocking the 27 inch iMac. Long story short, this is an amazing event. I hope you guys enjoyed it. More coverage of everything coming up on the channel later today. If you liked it, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for way more. I've been Sam, I'll catch you in the next one. Crazy sound moment. Uh, maybe ever, maybe ever.